let's show you how to set up a grid pattern. The grid icon is located on the architecture tab and the data panel. When I start the grid, it will start with the tail first and then the bubble. Now simply click the grid line in place. Hover over the endpoint of the grid to activate the temporary dimension. And I can use that temporary dimension to place the next grid line up at 10 feet. Using the blue stitch line, I can type my dimension at the keyboard, 10 feet, and press enter to set the next grid line up 10 feet. Notice as I continue to place grid lines, the numbers on the side change with the each new line. Now let's put some vertical lines in place. I am going to start at the corner and again pull up to set the first line. Click the modify arrow at the top to get out of the grid command. Now let's click inside the bubble and highlight the number and change it to a letter. Now click the grid icon again. Remember to hover over the endpoint to start the temporary dimension. Then pull or type the temporary dimension to set the grid line. Now that our grid is in place, let's see how to modify it. Select one of the grid lines and our temporary dimension will appear. Simply change it as needed to move the grid line. With the grid line selected, notice there are boxes at either end. These boxes control the head display. We can click them on and off. Notice also there is a lock button tied to each bubble. This means all the grids are locked together, so when I move one, they all move. Click on the lock to unlock it, and now that line will move individually. I can re-lock it in place by moving it back in line with the others. If we need to move the bubble, use the elbow to break the alignment, and now the bubble will move individually. The value inside the grid is changeable as well, as we have seen when we set up our grid. Select the grid, then select a letter or number inside and change it as needed.